Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to implement a Hello World example with the Renard or Renardi web framework. Uh, why that? Um, because I got exactly this question on the 96th Airhex TV, asked by uh, Mr. Peter Blakely, and he asked me what's my impression about the framework. So and this was uh, this episode is already published. It was the 96th episode of Airhex TV. So um, let's take a look what it actually is. So this is uh, seems like a regular extension. This is this uh, Renard web framework based on Quarkus. And it also seems like there's something to do with uh, JaxRS. So let's try to implement a Hello World example with it. So I would like to start uh, to start from scratch. Quarkus create app and minus minus no code. Um, oh, by the way, as you can see, Java is clearly uh, uh, light years ahead. So everyone is speaking about a low code. In Java, we have already no code. So um, start with that. Um, Airhacks, uh, let's say Renard or just hello world Renard and uh, 001 is the version. So, and this created a uh, empty Quarkus project, or at least it was my intention to create it. And empty means there is just the dependency injection arc extension and uh, the source should be empty, yes. So the first thing I would like to do is is to add, where is it, to add the uh, dependency, the extension. So let's do this. Uh, we need the Quarkus from Quarkyverse extension. And um, this is here. So we have an external dependency called Renard. And then what to do? So we need a uh, application, so a class. So I will already copy this and then see what happens. And uh, I would like to put a folder called Airhacks and uh, and then just create a class. I think the name was application, application Java. And this is just a regular class, but actually I would like to override that. And uh, Airhacks, let's say hello world boundary, this would be the uh, boundary endpoint. So let's move it to the right location. So this looks already good. So we have one path is here and and the uh, template and the other stuff comes from the uh, quirky, quirky versus Renard controller. So this is the controller and there are some cute templates involved as well, which is the, uh, Quarkus templating engine. Okay, now where is my browser? Here. Now, uh, this is uh, mission accomplished. What we also have to do is to, we have to copy a basic HTML stuff. And uh, the location is interesting. It is source main resources uh, templates. So there's a new folder on the resources called templates. And then application, which seems to have to correspond with this application and then index HTML. So let's do this. So we have here source resources. Uh, it was folder was templates and then we need exactly the same name as the controller so application and then it was just uh, index HTML and this is the index HTML and this should be enough I hope so uh, maven clean oh we don't have to clean it it is everything is already clean so compile quarkus and dev so uh, let's see what happens. Uh, it started, and as we can see, there are lots of. It seems like it's like facet uh, extension because uh, indirectly there was reactive Qt, uh, REST reactive, Renard. Uh, lots of dependencies were already installed behind the scenes for us. Okay, now um, now back to the browser and see what happens. So we have now the browser and our IDE. So what I would like to do is just to arrange it a little bit differently and then say uh, localhost 8080 and this is hello world and uh, hello Renard. Let's see. And it even works. So, um, so this was the first step. So what the first impression works great. <laughs> no, ex one, one dependency. And uh, what we get out of that is a server-side framework with uh, 
hot reload enabled. And, and of course, Renata is not just about rendering HTML. We could use, just use Nginx or Apache for that. Um, uh, what we get integrated is, uh, is uh, the Qt and Panache and the entire convention of a configuration uh, story. So um, to answer the question, what is my impression? Actually good. So uh, it works. Um, it is by convention. There was nothing to configure. It worked out of the box. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming AirHex TVs, uh, workshops, uh, AirHex Live, or even project projects. Thank you and bye. <laughs>